외국인 선수들의 한국 축구 정착기 이웃지 캐리가 시즌2 MC 이정현입니다. 안녕하세요. 여러분 에드가 편 재밌게 보셨나요? 여러분의 응원과 사랑 정말 정말 감사드리고요. 저희는 앞으로도 K리그1 외국인 선수들의 재밌는 이야기로 여러분의 사랑에 보답하도록 하겠습니다. 자 그럼 오늘 두 번째 주인공은 누구일까요? 만나러 가보시죠. 고고! 네, 유즈 케이리거 시즌 2그두 번째 주인공은요 호주에서 온 특급 공격수입니다. 수원 삼성의 타가트 선수 만나보도록 하겠습니다. Good day, mate. Good day, how are you? I'm fine. I'm doing good. So today we're gonna take an interview on a car. We have a car ready for you, and then we're gonna take you to a secret place where you can, you know, do some secret stuff. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, I like some secret things. That's good. Okay, shall we get started? Yeah. Okay, let's hop. So you signed with Blue Wings just before the season started. What made you finally sign it? Um, to be honest, I was very keen to, to sign for this club. After a, a tough season at, at Brisbane, um, I really wanted to, to try and go overseas and, and challenge myself. And when I heard about the opportunity to, to come to Sean Blue Wings, um, everyone knows about the club in Australia because it's you know one of the biggest clubs in Asia. And, I, I know a little bit about the history and, and there's been a few Australian players here before who speak so highly of it, um, so it was an easy decision to come in the end. It's been two months, right? Um, how's K-League for you? Honestly, it's, uh, it's a very exciting league. It's, um, it's very end-to-end, -end. it's quick and it's a tough league to play in and, and I think that's why um, I really enjoy it at the moment because it's, uh, it's very challenging every game. Um, the defenders are very hard to play against, um, and like I said, it's, it's very quick, so the, the tempos are a little bit higher than, than what it is in Australia. So I think being in a new league as well, it's, it's always very exciting um, to play in new places, and, and I think just experiencing the new culture and, and things like that, it's, um, it's one I'm, I'm very pleased about being a part of, and, and it's been very exciting so far. Um, eight games, four goals, obviously you're on a roll. How do you keep this going? I think it's being a striker, you, you know, scoring goals is just an enjoyable part of, of playing football. It's probably the reason why I, I started playing football and it's, um, everyone loves goals. Um, so I think it's just important to, to keep getting yourself in the right position to, to be available. Um, to score goals and I think with the quality we have in the team I think um, I'll always be getting chances which is um, really pleasing to, to know and I'll just keep trying to, to do my best and get in the positions and I think if you can focus on that then you know goals and, and winning games will, will come a lot easier. 2013 and 14 is a special year for you because you won a Golden Boot Award with Newcastle Jets, right? Coming in this season, have you set a goal for yourself to win one maybe in K-League? Um, to be honest, I think for me the most important is that we win games and if I win the Golden Boot uh, or a Golden Boot ever, then, then great. Um, but if not, then I think the most important thing is to, to try and get as many points on the, on the board as possible. And for me, that's the most enjoyable part. The, the feeling after uh, winning a game is, is the best feeling in the world. So um, that's the most important thing. And if you get individual things, and you know, that, that's great. But I think that um, the, all the credit goes to the whole team um, because everything that we're doing, winning, losing, um, individuals doing well, it's, it's all because of um, the whole group. And, and I think being a part of this and, and what I've seen 
uh, even with the fans, everyone is together and we're all fighting for the for the same for the same cause. What do you think of your manager's approach to the game this season? And you know, what do you think he wants the team to do? And how can you play a role in it? Um, I really enjoy this manager. Um, so far since I've been here, he yeah he wants to play some exciting football and he he wants to win games. Um, he wants the team to to play as a unit. Um, I think his emphasis on on everyone together. Um, if we win, it's together. If we lose, it's together. Um, I think that's very important, especially in a, a league where there's so many games and the season's so long. Um, it's important to have a good culture within the group. Um, and he wants a winning mentality and he, he wants to excite the fans. Um, and I think that's important to, to enjoy football as well because you want to be given the the go ahead to, to try and excite people and, and really just enjoy um, playing football. So I'm sure we will keep getting better. Um, I think we're on an unbeaten run at the moment and, and that's extremely important for us because winning is the most important thing but um, it's important to, to stay disciplined and, and try and get as many points on the board as we can. Also, speaking of fans, you said they were truly something, something truly special on your Instagram. So, what do they mean to you? I think um, coming to a new place, it was just such a nice feeling to, to be welcomed so much, and and I think because of that, it, it made me so much more excited to to play um, for the club, and and obviously after the first couple of months of being here, you can see how unbelievable our fans are, even. On our away games, it feels like we're playing at home. Uh, we have more fans than the home teams. <laughs> and every every away game that I've sort of walked out there, I've just, you know, it's just been such a, a joy to to play every game. You know, not just the home games, but away games because they there's so many that come and support you and and the home games, the atmosphere, and the way they they really get behind the team and and um, give you so much support. It just Makes you want to, makes you want to play for them even more. So I couldn't be happier to to play for these fans. What do you think your strengths and weaknesses are when it comes to playing in K League? Oh, it's <laughs> tough. It's like an interview. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, to be honest, I I think there's a lot of things that I want to improve on, um, but there's always things that I want to improve on and. Even if I get better at them, I'll still find something else to, to improve on. Um, I think um, one of my strengths is, is probably my movement. Um, I've always felt it's my movement in the box. I can get free and and, and that's why if the, the ball comes, I, I feel confident to, to try and score. Um, some weaknesses, definitely defending. <laughs> um, but I'm still... Um, the pace of the game, I'm still getting uh, uh, to grips with with um, just general play, keeping the ball when it's uh, up up the other end. Um, but I think there's there's lots of little things that, that I try and improve on each week. Um, rather than the, the big picture, I'm you know looking at small things, small details each week. Um, you know, I'll reflect on the game and try to look at the, the areas that, that I need to be better at and, and focus on that for next week and then that week I'll have some new things that I want to focus on and, and keep going and I think sometimes when you look at it like that slowly um, without realising you, you start getting better each week yeah so I think for me it's, it's important to, to um, focus and, and understand the, the points of my game that, that need to be better. Um, a couple of years ago, Matthew Yerman, right, used to play for Swan Samsung. Do you know him personally? Yeah, I've, I've played against Matt many times. Um, he's a very tough defender. Um, but yeah, um, as I was coming here, he sent me a message and I just, you know, said to let him know if I need to, to know about anything because, um, yeah, he speaks so highly of the players, the fans, the, the whole club. Um, I think he, he obviously had a really, really enjoyable time here um, and he just wanted to let me know that. So I've not spoken to him too much since because everything's been so good. Uh, I've not, not needed too much help with 
engage with many things because um, everyone at the club is so helpful and, and so willing to to help you out. So the transition's been very easy, but I know that Matt had a, had a great time here and he got back in the Socceroos when he was playing here. Um, and obviously um, he, he got a big move to, to, um, to Saudi Arabia. It is. Great, great. Yeah. Um, but he speaks very highly of the place, so it was nice to know that coming from another Aussie. In another interview, you said you've heard of Damianovic. His name is hard to pronounce. <laughs> How? Um, I think in Australia, he's well in Asia, he's, he's such a big player, um, and he's done well against a lot of Australian teams. Uh, so I've actually I'd seen a lot of those games when he was playing for Seoul, when he was playing for Suwon last year, um, all through Asia. But but in Australia, everyone knows him, and because of there's been many Aussies who have played in Korea um, who also know him. Um, so it's good to have uh, someone like Dan around, uh, especially being a striker, it's very helpful and, and um, he's someone I'm very happy to be at the club with. Um, obviously he can understand quite a bit of Korean and he's been around for a long time so he understands um, the league very well and, and the culture and things like that so he's been very helpful to me. Um, you know, being young and, and uh, a foreigner, so it's, it's been uh, a very easy transition with him. Also, you chose Jamil Heskey, did I pronounce that right? Emil Heskey, as one of the best players you've ever played with. Um, what makes him your personal best? I think um, in the past I've been lucky to, to play with um, a lot of great players, um, you know, uh, especially in my younger years, but I think to play with Emil Heskey was just um, very special because uh, everyone already knew that when he was in England, everyone who played with him said the same thing. You know, all of the all of the other strikers because he's just one of those people that he's he's so big and he's so strong uh, that he can take the ball anywhere, and and you can just sort of focus on on your movement and, and making runs into the box and, and trying to score goals and, and that's the way he likes to play. He wants to be the the, the sort of link and the hold up man um, so that you can go and um, do what do what you're good at and it was just really enjoyable to play with someone like that who's obviously the, the best at, at that sort of game um, and being that year that was, that was very, very enjoyable. Um, he was just a great person to, to have around the training ground, um, to play in the games with, um, and being such a high profile player, and me being you know, such a young kid at the time, I was, was very excited to, to play with Big Emil at the time. Um, you're well experienced in A-League, and you're settling down in K-League as well, but you're new to Asia Champions League, right? Are you looking forward to playing for Suwon next year? Very much looking forward to. Um, we've still got a lot of work to do to, to get there for next year, but I'm confident that that we can do this. Um, and like I said, after watching a lot of the games that, that they played against the Australian teams in the past, um, it's definitely a, a goal of ours um, at the club to to try and reach that. So it'll be very exciting to to, to be in that next year. You know, if all goes right, you can maybe play against Brisbane Roars, right? <laughs> yeah, well, that would be very exciting, to be honest. Yeah, it would, uh, it would be exciting to play against any Australian club. Um, but I think to, to be in the Champions League with, with Suwon would, would be very special for me. 2014 FIFA World Cup, um, you played on national team against Netherlands and Spain, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, it was it was off the back of a of a of a good season. Um, I was very young at the time. It was my twenty uh, first birthday that I found out I was in the squad. Yeah, best birthday present ever. it was the best birthday <laughs> present ever. Um, it was just a very excited, exciting experience. Um, not just those two games, but the whole. I think we were in camp for two months or, or something like this, and. Just the, the whole way through from, from start to finish was everything you dreamed of a, a, as a little kid. So, And it was literally exactly as you dreamed. Uh, everything was, was uh, just so professional and, and the buzz was exactly 
the, the way you thought it would feel like. Um, and I think for Australian football, the biggest thing is the national team. Um, it's a lot bigger compared to the actual uh, league. Um, so to be a part of that was was um, was really special. And to play with a lot of my idols who I'd grown up with and, and um, in such big games, it really um, helped to remind me uh, you know, that your dreams can come true, and and to and to always try and uh, you know shoot for as high as you can, and, and um, because when you get there, it's very exciting. But it was a reminder that it was only the start, um, and ever since then, I've always been so motivated to, to get back there and and just to try and be the the best player that I can reach personally. Um, I think that's the the long term goal. With Matt having been recruited based on his K-League performance, do you maybe expect the same for yourself? Yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, it's um, that's up to the national team, I guess. Um, you know, I, I guess since then I've had a few injuries um, that sort of kept me out for a couple of years directly after the World Cup. Um, and ever since then, um, I've been in Australia, which is um, tough to get back to the national team. Um, you know, but I think it's Im important to focus on, on what you can control and, and that's on your performances each week with, with um, Sue on Blue Wings and, and that's the most important as well because um, they're the ones who support you every week, they're the ones who have shown the faith in, and given you a chance to play for the club, um, so it's them that I want to play for and, and if you get a reward with uh, the national team, uh, similar to the Golden Boot, it's great, you know. Um, but it's important to focus on, on the right things and, and, and which you can control and, and that's going into training every day with the, with the right frame of mind. Um, it was very good for Matt and, and well deserved because it's a, it's a very tough league to, to play in so I think if you can do well here it, it, it shows that you're able to overcome a lot of things because it's, it's not an easy league to, to play in. There's always challenges every game and and um, it's going to make you a better player. So um, it was well deserved from Matt, and, and I'll keep going and, and, and try to improve as much as I can in the K League. And I think that's that's the main thing to focus on. Okay. So you have good memories. You're making good memories here, and we're on our way to make another <laughs> great memory, hopefully. This is. 오만이다. 골티비 삼행시 남기고 손흥민 이재성 사인 국제 유니폼 받자. 슈퍼선 손흥민. 슈퍼선 이재성 구독자 오만 선물.